Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nancy and we have some more house mouse releases over at Spellbinders. I only picked one stamp this time, but I had a specific idea in my head. So this is the, um, oh, I didn't even look up the name. This is the, the house mouse with the lights. I'll look it up and put it down in the description for you. Um, but it has two sentiments. It is a red rubber cling mounted stamp, so you get a lot of detail. You light up the holidays and have a merry and bright Christmas. And you can see he's he's swinging on a string of lights, okay? So to save time, I already um, printed or stamped him out. And I just color, it was very easy to color, you guys. I just did green on the string, red, green, and blue on the lights. And I colored him in some warm grays. Um, but you could color him with anything you want, alcohol markers, watercolor markers, pencils, whatever. And then I took some fake plant um, ink from Simon Hurley's collection. And I just did some ink blending on the outside. Again, thinking that he's probably hanging out in a tree somewhere, right? And to do the background... I took some fake plant lunar paste and I just used my finger and went around the edges. Now I certainly can just mat this and attach it to my card. And I did stamp you light up my holiday, you light up the holidays on the outside and have a merry and bright Christmas on the inside. And we can call that done. And this is a really fun card. And hey, thanks for the minute and a half video. But I'm never going to make it that easy. <laughs> so I got sent these lights from Pear Blossom Press. And they are Easy Light Twinkles. And there are three lights. Three little lights. There are three little lights here. So we're going to put this together. Together. Um, you get two in here. So these are two sets of twinkle lights. If you've never tried using Pear Blossom's regular lights, they are so easy. You literally just put the battery in, put the light where you want it, and then just click the button. See, you just click this button. So we're going to take one of these batteries out. We only need one set of lights here. And it comes with the batteries, which is super cool. And you can find these batteries if you need to replace them. They're at any grocery store. They're really easy to find. And then these lights are kind of tied together, so we're going to untie them. This is great for, I've seen it on birthday cards. Um, I've seen it under like fireworks cards. So pretty much any occasion that would require something to light up, this would look really cool. And these are really tiny lights, so they're not going to take up a lot of um, space in the card. And I guess I should get some foam tape out as well. All right, and then we have two sets here, so we're just gonna snap this in half, okay? And then this is one set, and we'll put another set, the other set. So the other set and the battery can be put away for another card. We're gonna use this set, okay? And I can see that there are three tiny little, tiny, tiny, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. Um, these little lights, okay? And then all we do is we just put the battery in there and it has a plus right there and the top of your battery has a plus. Okay, so we're gonna do plus to plus and you literally just slide it in. That's it. And then when you hit this little button right here, see how they light up? So all I have to do is tape it behind the lights so for example, I can see where my lights are because I did Copic coloring. That's gonna shine through. See that? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Okay, so we're going to tape this behind. Let me grab some scotch tape. And then I think I want to have my button down here in the corner so they can just hit that button. And I'll put like a little a little note there that says push. So if that goes there. I'll just 
just going to take these three strands of lights and tape them where we want them in position. So I'm going to take this one, just tape it right over the back of the blue light. This one will go over here on top of the green light. You could also punch a hole if you really wanted this light to come through. I think I might do that actually. Just take my little pokey tool. Let me take these two off here. And I'm gonna punch just a little hole at the base of the light. That way when I tape the light, you'll really see it come through, so. Totally optional, you don't need to do that. I used these lights before on like a, made a car, a card that had a soda bar and I used it as like the bar lights. Okay, so I'm gonna put that light right over the hole and then put the tape on there. Ooh, there's a thunderstorm coming here. Ooh, those are bright. Yeah, see how much brighter it is on the two that I poked holes in versus the one I didn't? Okay, so let me poke a hole in this guy too. Now everybody's taped into place. A little piece of excess tape here I just need to cut out. Okay, now we have our colored image. We have our lights in place. I just need to tape down this. Oh my gosh, so cute. And I will turn the lights off so you guys can see it better. They are super bright. Okay, so then I'm going to Tape this down in the bottom here. These bat and these these um lights and batteries last a really long time. So I don't imagine that you would ever change the battery out. I mean, it's just fun to to give somebody something so interactive. And I'm just adding tape to secure everything in place. I even put a little extra tape to tape those wires down so they don't get bent or, you know, bulk. Okay, so now when I put the, I'll put a little press sign down here. Okay, so now we just need some foam tape and we're gonna attach this. So I'm gonna attach the back. might want to double layer your foam tape if you don't have thick foam tape, but use what you have. I think this is going to be fine.
So I picked this one because I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of coloring, but if you enjoy house mouse stamps, there are several super cute ones there as part of the new Christmas collection. Spellbinders has um, successfully launched the um, relaunch of the house mouse stamps since they now carry them. So go check out the website. I stuck that down a little too soon, but I can't change it now. I'm gonna turn the overhead light off so I can show you how cute this looks. And then, like I said, I will have a little, um, I'll put like a little push here on there. Here we go. How cute is that? And if you hold it down, they twinkle. Love it. All right, if you had fun watching me put this together, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna add a little extra here. We're gonna put some shimmer on that lights. Where's my shimmer marker? And they're so tiny, you can't even see the little hole I poked out. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, click that bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my channel for other videos that I make. Thanks for watching, and keep on stamping. Bye, guys.